So, how long has it been since I complained about these stupidly tiny little things that you put the screwdriver into in the screws and Diane cubes? Oh. Okay, that's a long time. All right, I promised that I would complain about something else that Diane has been doing in their more recent cubes, and um, it's been a while, so I figure I shouldn't wait any longer. So this is the listing on the cubicle for the Diane Zanshi Pro M 3x3. And I mean, $34.99, not bad. That's about your typical price for sort of a midline flagship. It's not like one of those crazy, like, GAN cubes where it's just extremely expensive and it only seems to get more expensive with time. But my problem with the Zanchi Pro M, as well as the Tengyun V2, because it has the same thing, is this dual adjustment system. This is actually like a cube design bra moment. For those who are uninitiated with cube customization, when you look at the core, there are two main parameters that you can adjust. The tension, which is how much the pieces are allowed to travel away from the core, and the spring strength, which basically controls how stiff the springs are. And as you can see, with these GAN cubes, the system has kind of changed over time. But generally speaking, you have one way to adjust the spring strength, and then for the tension, it's notched in little increments. And the point of this is so that you can easily get consistent tensions on all six sides of the cube. Now, it may be hard to see in the video, but the Zanchi Pro M and the Tengyun V2 both have the same kind of dual adjustment system where you adjust spring compression using one thing and then you adjust tension by changing the notch on the core piece. But if you see in the middle right there, that's actually a normal screw. And the thing about ordinary screws on older cubes like this one is that getting consistent tensions is dependent entirely on the user and they will never be absolutely perfect because your screw depth could always be just a fraction of a millimeter off. And if you look, you can see that even this old GAN 356X does not have a screw in it. And that's because this normal screw system will always be prone to inconsistencies in the tensions. So by putting an ordinary screw in a cube, with a notched incremental tension adjustment system, you're completely destroying the point of that notched incremental tension adjustment system. Diane, you guys are idiots. What's the point of a tension adjustment system that was originally designed to give you consistent tensions across all six sides if that screw is gonna make your cube prone to having inconsistent tensions anyways. So for those who may not know me very well, I am working on collecting every magnetic 3x3 that interests me. And because of this design feature that I think was completely overlooked, I'm sorry, I'm not buying the Zanchi Pro M or the Tengyun V2. 